have been discussing uh, this week, uh, thanks to the drop in international energy prices and the Spanish government's response, inflation dropped by five percentage points in five months, and Spain has, is one of the countries with the lowest inflation rate in the EU right now. We are witnessing, and this is visible in this week's uh, meetings, we are witnessing a tectonic shift in the world order that has served us in the end, since the end of World War II. Many changes, many geopolitical tensions are, are taking place, mostly uh, caused uh, to, by the war in, in Ukraine. I think uh, one of the main elements of these discussions and one of the main conclusions is that this war is right now the main element of uncertainty and concern at global level with a long-lasting and a broad impact throughout the world. So the sooner the war ends, the better. That is the main element so that the world economy can resume the path of strong recovery, strong growth we were on after the pandemic. From the perspective of Spain, we are strongly committed to a united and coordinated response at global level to bring back peace in Ukraine and also to resume this strong growth. We strongly support uh, Ukraine and we strongly support our multilateral framework and our global safety net, which is more important than ever. Conversations and uh, negotiations are getting more difficult due to geopolitical tensions as the war goes on. Um, but we will continue to have a constructive, uh, cooperative approach uh, representing Spain. And we will also uh, reinforce our cooperation between the IMFC that, as you know, I am chairing during this year and the G20 Indian Presidency to continue to reinforce our multilateral framework that has worked to the benefit of all of us and has ensured uh, financial stability and support for most vulnerable countries uh, during 2022 and 2023. Finally, just a word of strong support also for the uh, priority given by the Indian Presidency to the issue of financial inclusion. We really support the focus on fostering financial inclusion for most vulnerable citizens and SMEs. And India's experience in this regard, which I have been able to uh, follow and witness in the course of this week, both in Bangalore and also in Mumbai, can be very useful in this regard to ensure that no one is left behind due to technological uh, advancement. So um, thank you very much to the Indian Presidency and to the Indian population for their warm, warm uh, welcome. Uh, the Indian Presidency is proving to be extremely dedicated, professional, and, uh, and also uh, able to manage this challenging situation. And so thank you very much uh, wholeheartedly, and we look forward to your questions.